here too, but um, I don't know if you did this before. I, I know you, since you haven't done a lot of streams, perhaps with other streamers, you you want to get into like some of your uh, background, like how you got into uh, crypto, how'd you get into the Hex pull chain community, how'd you find Richard, all that good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's uh, I heard about crypto. Well, I first heard about crypto a while ago, 2011, right? Uh, that was uh, from Max Kaiser watching RT, but I didn't really mm. do anything with it, right? I just heard it in passing. He was talking about this uh, digital gold, right? So it, it, it seemed so complex to me at the time, so I didn't give it much attention. So I just, you know, heard about it in passing. Then 2017, uh, early January, I just started looking at the price of Bitcoin. And the year started off, the price was uh, under 1,000. And and the price every day, wow. the price would be higher and higher and higher. <laughs> yeah. And that was so cool because you'd go to sleep, right? And you'd know that tomorrow the price is going to be higher. So I was like, this is really cool, right? Mm -hmm. The price is going up. It can only go up. It, you it, try to go to sleep. It never goes down, right? You try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh then that, that's when I started to just, you know, uh, DCA into Bitcoin a little bit, DCA into Bitcoin, DCA into Bitcoin. Then uh, later on the year, there was the, the big civil war, you know, the split between Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash. And then yeah. unfortunately, I went the Bitcoin cash side, <laughs> Ooh, well, <laughs> which didn't work yeah. out well because the, the price, uh, when, when Bitcoin cash came out, it had so much promise, right? Uh, the price yeah. I, it started off, I think it was about four grand somewhere there and which was yeah, about yeah. uh possibly about 50 percent of bitcoin at the time and i think it it was briefly the second largest crypto so i thought that okay this is going to the moon right because uh then i just kept on getting into bitcoin cash unfortunately the price just started to just tank 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 tank, tank. yeah and then uh i don't know how i came across uh richard hart right but uh it was at a time when obviously uh after being wrecked with bitcoin cash and being wrecked by the bear market also then I, I, I saw one of his interviews and the stuff that he said made a lot of sense. But mm -hmm. a lot of people just didn't get it, right? A lot of people just didn't get it. And at the time, he was talking about Hex and then how Hex would, uh, had, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, yeah, a, a referral program, right? And back in the mm -hmm. day, no one spoke about that kind of stuff uh, in the crypto space. So that was really exciting for me. I said, okay, this, they're prioritizing uh, this, the, Hex prioritizes marketing, prior, uh, prioritizes onboarding new people. I think it'll do well because there was nothing mm -hmm. like that in the crypto space, right? And the, obviously, the, the aspect of yield as well, all that stuff was still very, very new. So I, I got excited by that. Then I just started to get mm -hmm. in the, the, what you call this, the adoption amplifier, getting in the, the adoption amplifier. And then the, there was the, the great purge, right? I didn't know that's, that, was, that was the name of, yeah. of, 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 of what happened. The Great Purge came around, and uh, when the Great Purge came, there was massive, massive fun. Then I just said, ah, look, uh, I'm not going to dollar cost average anymore. I'll just leave it. Then I kind of forgot about it. And then uh, mm. some months later, <laughs> some months later, my girlfriend yeah. asked me, hey, whatever happened to that hex? I go and look at the price chart. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the nice. price has it's gone always, insane. The price has it's gone always insane. always great to come but back and like, okay, see it go price, nuts. Yeah, yeah, because I'd forgotten about it, right? And, and mm. it, it, I, I, I was DCAing small, very, very small amounts, and I was like, the price has gone insane. I was really surprised. Then I started to go deep and learning, le learn, learning more and more about it. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, how that's pretty much my journey. And uh, yeah, and obviously now what what happened was then uh, I started to make content. I right? started to make content. Started to make content covering all sorts of crypto stuff, all sorts of crypto stuff. Uh, but. During the adoption amplifier, I didn't really maximize the opportunity as much as I think I should have, right? Uh, so when I when 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 Richard had announced Pulse Chain, I thought, like, okay, look, this is the second opportunity to get the same massive gains. And because, like, have I had I maximized the opportunity back then? Uh, yeah, it was it would have been game changing, you know, really uh, game changing because I, I got it extremely extremely early. So when when Pulse Chain came out, I thought, okay, this is the second uh, second opportunity. So uh, all in, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 